And the first one we're going to be looking at here, guys, is called Usage Bar X. Now, if you are a person who does a lot of tethering, or maybe you just listen to a uh, song on your Bluetooth or whatever, sometimes you see that blue bar up there at the top. Uh, I think that's up there right now because actually I'm streaming wi uh, over Wi-Fi. It puts that up there. So what this does is it reduces that. They call it a double stack, uh, I think is what they refer to it as. But anyway, if you install this tweak, you can actually make that transparent. You can make it go away. You can even hide it. You can do all sorts of things with it. Or you can make it a normal size. And I'm going to show you a few ways you can do that. By going into usage bar X right here, you see you can put it on slim bar, which is what I've got it on, or you can put it on hide or transparent. Now, when you change these, uh, it does require a respring, it says. While active, the option looks good on most applications. The text will be hard to see, blah, blah, blah. You can read that as well as I can. So if we turn that on transparent, you see the blue bar goes away up there at the top. So apparently it doesn't require a respring, which is, which is great. Now, moving on to the next one. Uh, this is going to be pretty quick too, guys. These are pretty simple tweaks. Uh, CC no floating. This is one of my favorites of the day. Down here, when you flip up your notification, you know normally that's sort of centered in the screen. This eliminates that. It makes it full width of the screen, which I think it looks much better. Even when you flip over here to your music side, all of this looks better, guys. It, it, it just makes things look better. CC no floating. The next one is called Enhanced Switcher Close. And we go to Enhanced Switcher Close. Home screen settings right here. You got a couple things you can do. The first action is launch, of course, uh, if you tap it. And second action is dismiss the switcher. Third action, all this, you can change. And down here, if you swipe up the action, the first one, respring is what I've got it set to do. The second action, you can, you can set it to relaunch apps. You can set it to do all sorts of different things, guys. That's totally up to you. This is a really cool app, and if you, if you need a way to respring, it's a really good way to, to even have that. But what I like most right here. Uh, you see, you got I, I accidentally pulled it up. It resprings, but and you can if you pull down, it does certain things. If you swipe up, it does certain things. But you can do all sorts of different things with it, guys. Uh, and it's really customized settings right here. Uh, continue on the now playing setting. Now continue now playing. Alert now playing. Enable whitelist. Uh, kill all settings. There's just a lot you can do with it, guys. Check it out and play around with it. I think you'll find a lot of use for that tweak. The next one, and I think here, is called I8 Corners. Now, I want you to look I, the number 8, and then Corners. I want you to look at my corners here of my screen. See how they're sort of rounded off? That's where that's coming from. I was going to show you where this... H-I, right here. It's in that antique uh, repo. You may have to add it. If you don't have it, I'll put it in the description. Uh, I ate corners. But it's also in those hacked repos. I saw it in there, too. But anyway, you can round off your corners to different degree. Uh, if you go back out here and go to I ate corners, you see right here, I've got it turned all the way up. If you turn it all the way down... Now, this requires a respring also. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to turn it all the way down and hit respring. And now, when it comes back up, we'll look at the corners and see how they look. So, guys, while we're waiting on my phone to come back up, what do you think about my shades? Do you want me to wear them? Do you think I could be the next Casey Neistat of the twi tw uh, Tweak Review community? Okay, that's what I'm going for. I'm the I'm the Hollywood of tweak reviews. Now look at my corners. They're squared. So that's what it does, guys. Supposedly that's what the iPhone eight they're 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 saying is going to look like the corners in it.
how they know that i don't i don't think they really do know they're just assuming and predicting maybe but here's the one i like best and i saved it for last just to make y'all wait because i'm a dick that way anyway power collar i know everybody in here has got somebody that they want to be sure has contact with you at all times whether it be your mom your your wife girlfriend boyfriend whatever it may be if you mute mute your phone this caller still will ring your phone okay it's called power caller and it is free go down here to power caller you see it right here all you have to do is put the name in right here set the contact name up and you're good to go whatever contact name you write in there is the name that will call you no matter if your phone is muted or not guys be sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave today help me become the next casey neistat of the tech review community